What up, you jealous motherfuckers? Hey guys, what's up? Sorry for not having a video for a while. I don't really have a good excuse for that, but I've been doing a lot of uh, a lot of quests. So this video is going to be mostly just me showing you guys all the quests that I've been doing and uh, catching up with that sort of stuff. So first I did King's Ransom, and uh, although I'm never going to get 70 prayer on this account, um, I did decide that I would do it uh, mostly because I'll, I might still do the training grounds because you get like 20,000 experience in a, in a bunch of different quests. Uh, or in a bunch of different skills. I think attack, strength, defense, range, mage, and HP are these skills. So that's kind of worth doing. Um, I tried it a couple times, but as of right now, I think I'm too low of combat to do the training ground. So I'll probably take a shot at that uh, a little bit further down the road, maybe when I get 85 or 90 uh, combat or so. But the thing with those, if you are trying that, uh, you really need to bring a lot of super restores and uh, attacks and strength potions and defense potions because they just wreck your stats. They lower it every time they hit you. And uh, so that's really the hardest part about that. So I did King's Ransom, haven't done the training grounds yet, and then I went and did uh, Swan Song. And Swan Song, I wasn't really doing it for any purpose besides just to get more quests done. Uh, you don't really get too much from the quest. But um, the monster at the end uh, that you saw me fighting a little bit ago uh, really wasn't that hard at all. I was kind of expecting a harder fight, um, but whatever i mean it wasn't it's not one of the harder quests it's not known as being one of the harder quests so it makes sense that it wasn't too tough and then from that i got 52 prayer which allowed me to get smite and i'm gonna try to stick at 52 prayer but if i go for the quest cape i think i'm gonna go above 52 prayer so that might be a problem um i also finished legends quest and uh that's mostly for the legends cape i really wanted the cape just because i've only been using uh what is it, the Spotted Cape? I haven't gotten spottier because I think that's like 60 Hunter, and I only have 49. And um, so I've been using the Spotted Cape, which just lowers uh, your weight so that you could run more. But I really wanted a cape that was actually good for combat, so I went and uh, did Legends. Uh, another interesting thing about Legends is you get uh, 7,650 experience uh, four times, and I used it all on Herb Lore, uh, which brought me up a lot of levels. And then after I did that, I actually did Lunar Diplomacy. I don't have a clip of me doing Lunar Diplomacy because I kind of forgot to record, but here in this uh, clip you can see that I, I pray at the altar and I have all the uh, the Lunar Spells, and that's really going to help me out with Slayer when I decide to, uh, to start grinding out Slayer because the NPC contact is going to make it so I don't have to keep teleporting back and forth, especially because my uh, trainer, I think my entire account... Uh, for slang is always going to be at the trainer in the Lost City because I don't think I'm ever going to get a hundred combat, at least not for a very long time. So it's really nice to have NPC contact for that reason. And then I got a uh, one three three seven total level after I did uh, the Legends quest, and that's pretty cool. I just wanted to show you guys that. So the last thing I wanted to do was just show you guys my bank real quick, because I haven't really made a bank video yet, and I recently organized it because it looked terrible, and I was spending like 10 minutes trying to find a spade. And so uh, I organized it, and I just wanted to show you guys, maybe to give you guys some ideas of organizing your own bank, because I personally noticed that once I did this, I spend 5, 10 seconds at a bank getting everything I need, as opposed to several minutes. So at the top, I have all sorts of currency, uh, shanty passes, agility, and... Uh, you know, all that sort of stuff, eco ecto tokens, um, and my coins. Uh, I then did runes, and then uh, talismans, and then staves, uh, just all sort of magic stuff. Then stuff for Slayer, and then just general equipment. Now, I wouldn't suggest having stuff, for instance, like rune up at the top, because if you only have one set of rune, and you keep taking it out to equip, and then you keep putting it back in, you're going to have to keep putting it all the way up and moving it. And I don't suggest that, but since I have two sets... Um, it, it hasn't bothered me at all because that actually makes it so, oh, I need my rune rather than looking all down through here through my disorganized stuff. I could just go right up here and get what I need. Uh, same with my proselyte. And then I've got some, uh, all magic equipment, all my full lunar from, uh, lunar diplomacy. And then I've got tools, so random pickaxes, hatchets, axes, saws, hammers, all that sort of stuff. Uh, some random clothing, uh, 
this stuff can, is probably going to go away pretty soon because there's really no point in having leather gloves and leather boots. Um, then I got my food, some uh, some arrows and ranging stuff, and then tons of potions. Um, I don't try to make it so that I have a four dose, a three dose, two dose, and one dose. But if it ever happens to to happen that way, then I just let it slide, and I don't really bother trying to condense them all. Um, so that's why they're like that. That's for why, for instance, my super strengths aren't like that because I recently got high enough uh, herb lore to be able to make super strengths, and that's why I have these. And so there's not going to be any two or one dose. I'm not going to separate them just to take up bank space. Um, and then more potion sort of stuff. And then bones. These are sort of, I've been selling most of my bones, so that's not much quest items. And then herb lore. Uh, my herb lore tab used to be way bigger. I used to have hundreds and hundreds of herbs because I trained on uh, chaos druids for the first couple weeks on my pure. And so I had tons of herbs, uh, but now it's really uh, not as many as I had. Uh, these three unids right here are probably going to be Cadentine, uh, Landentine, or whatever, and then uh, some other high level, probably Dwarf Weed or something, because these are definitely higher than Avento and uh, Quorum. So then I got my other herbs and then sort of secondary ingredients all down here, and then all farming stuff. So this starts all farming seeds. This takes up so much bank space. They'd I would almost think that, especially in the time that EOC, um, because the game has been out so long with farming that they'd realize, like, seeds are a huge part of your what takes up your bank space. It's, it's kind of annoying. They should almost make, like, seed pouches or something to be able to put them in. But anyway, uh, farming, 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 and then crafting. So I used to have, again, sort of similar to the way that I had... Uh, all the stuff up here, I, I had a lot of uh, potions and all that. This used to be hundreds and hundreds, just like the herbs of of gems, but I've since crafted most of them. As you can see down here, I've got a bunch of uh, Ring of Duelings, Ring of uh, Games Necklaces, Rings of Life, a um, bunch of that sort of stuff. Tons of gold bars, I did that for uh, leveling smithing. And I haven't been able to, sold, uh, mm -hmm. to sell them yet, so I've just sort of been holding on to them, which I don't mind too much. I, I sort of have enough money. I mean, 600k... Uh, is low. It's much lower than I'm used to having. I had like 2.5 mil a couple days ago, but uh, I've been using it uh, for training skills, so it doesn't really bother me that much. If I need something, I can still afford it. So um, this is all crafting sort of stuff, crafting, crafting some uh, some feathers, and then goes into mining, wood cutting, and then this is sort of where my bank just gets bleh, all disorganized because these are sort of stuff that either don't belong or they're only one item, you know, so mystic. Uh, that stuff, it's kind of annoying to keep putting it up, putting it up, so I just sort of leave it there. Uh, here's my cannon. I bought a cannon for slang because uh, I had, again, 2.5 mil or so. Um, so I decided that faster Slayer experience was something that I definitely wanted, so I went ahead and bought that. This is the, uh, the mask that you saw drop at the beginning of the video. I decided that I'm probably going to hold on to this one for uh, training Slayer because I haven't been uh, using a black mask for that. So I'm going to start doing that probably. Then I got my sharks, which are sort of misplaced. I should put them up by my lobsters, but uh, whatever. And then I got all the stuff that I normally I normally take out all the time, so that's why it's down there. I just did a farming run, so there's some of that stuff down there. And then I also got 70 range, which is why I'm able to use my black dragon head now, which is fucking awesome. So... That's it for the bank video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, leave it a like, and I'll see you guys next time.